You have Patrick Fundaro here with Vetted Biz, co-founder of Vetted Biz. We help you find, vet, and buy a franchise or business for sale. Uh, right now, we have over 1,800 franchises that we've reviewed their FDD and taken out some of the most important metrics. So you can easily review it as an initial step to, to explore different franchise options. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing a painting franchise. Wow, one day painting. Uh, this information that I'm reviewing today is from the 2020 Franchise Disclosure Document, for short, FDD. Um, and I'll, let's go through you know, a little bit about what is a, a WOW One Day Painting uh, franchise. So they provide commercial as well as residential painting. The business was founded in 2005 and is a franchise concept in the home services industry. I encourage those that are interested in the home, current, in the home uh, services industry to, to visit our site at, at Vetted Biz to explore many different 50 plus franchise options in the home services space. Um, it's the same co-founder of 1-800-GOT-JUNK, uh, as well as there's a lot of different service franchises um, that he's he's founded or co-founded, including Sackshine, 1-800-GOT-JUNK, Junk, and then Wow One Day Painting. Really, um, his, his uh, his outlook and, and what he's we working on is is organizing and pref professionalizing these brick and mortar home service businesses across Canada uh, as well as the United States. Right now, for a while, one day painting, there are thirty four franchise locations across the United States, and another fifteen to our neighbors in the north in Canada. The initial franchise fee is thirty two thousand to fifty six thousand. Um, and it just depends in terms of the, the main territory as well as sub-territories. The total costs, including the franchise fee, range from $66,000 to $129,000, $129,500. Um, and essentially how it works is the territory granted will consist of two or four of these geographic areas of which um, will be considered a, a sub-territory. So with 1-800-GOT-JUNK, with WOW One Day Painting, and these other service concepts, um, it's mostly structured to expand and, and operate in, in multiple uh, territories. Um, and for them, they have the option, you know, basically starting with two, and then you can have additional uh, sub-territories. Sub the cost breakdown, I, I went over the franchise fee, again, 32000 to 56000 depends how many territories you're going to be taking out. Initial marketing expense, fifteen dollars to 20000 Computer hardware, going down additional funds to run the business, 10000 to 20000 Royalty fee, 6% of gross revenues. Sales center marketing technology fee, 5%. They're handling a lot more of the, um, the operations than some of these other uh, franchises. Now to the sales figures. For franchises operating over 24 months, the average gross revenue is $626,000. For franchises operating between 12 months and 24 months, it's a healthy $415,000. And then for all franchises, again, that's ones that um, that basically have been operating throughout the 2019 reporting year. So these 26 locations, uh, the average gross revenue was 577,000. So imagine the midpoint on the investment, it's less than $100,000 and the average gross revenue is above 500,000. That's a pretty good ratio when you consider the, the midpoint of the, the investment to start up the franchise, what the initial franchise costs are to what the average gross revenue is after you know, a certain period of time. And I do like how they break it out. It's very responsible. You know, hey, this is what it looks like after you know, about a year, year to two years, over two years, and then including all, um, all franchisees. 
So again, average franchise gross revenue for the 26 locations, 577,000. Average gross profit margin, 41%. Um, overall, I'd say it's pretty, com pretty competitive um, proposition. Also, when you consider some of the other alternatives in the space, uh, which we do have profiles on the majority, Certa Pro Painters, Five Star Painting, 360 Painting, College Pro, as well as Fresh Coat Painting. I always encourage prospective um, franchisees to evaluate all the franchise options at, a, at least at a high level to go through some of these franchise metrics, uh, franchise openings, closures, franchise costs, the average sales figures like we went through today for WOW One Day Painting. Um, and all these other companies, the franchise operations will ra are range currently from, well, I should say as of the end of 2019, uh, from 13 to about 300 franchise locations. Um, so there are a couple competitors that are in fact larger in terms of the number of franchisees than Wild Day, One Day Painting. Uh, but overall, I think for the right operator, this does present a tremendous opportunity. And if you would like to see how Wow One Day Painting compares to other home service franchises, go ahead and download our industry guide where we review the additional details in terms of the loan default rate for SBA loans. Um, so basically for franchisees that have taken out an SBA loan, how many were able to pay the loan back in full, how many defaulted on the loan, uh, how does this comparison compare for just independent painting and other home service uh, businesses. So go ahead, download the industry guide, a lot of really insightful um, information concerning the home services space and how one wow one day painting compares and also include some other franchise examples in there again this has been patrick findaro uh, co-founder at vetted biz i hope you find this uh, video helpful especially for those that are considering uh, investing in a franchise thanks again